the G Way Podcast with Deacon Dirty. So uh, you know, uh, uh, I was trying to see. If the, oh, real, how will the unemployment, like the checks, the people, the unemployment checks, uh-huh. people, how will that affect them when they go to file their taxes? How does that work? Whew. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically where I go. I went Woo! from. Like, <laughs> I did. I did a lot in this industry. I went from tax consultant to business guru mm-hmm. to relationship expert, and now grief counselor. Mm. Those unemployment statements. Mm. A lot of people gonna get those. Mm. And it's going to affect a lot of people's taxes. And the reason why I say grief counselor, because everybody's going to compare last year to this year. And it's going to be totally different because Mm -hmm. that becomes, now it becomes taxable income. Mm -hmm. So now you got to add that into your your, your income, which now is going to boost people to a higher tax bracket. God forbid you didn't have no taxes. And they was breaking them off last year. If you didn't have no taxes taken out of your unemployment. It's going to be even worse because now people who qualify for certain credits, that unemployment going to boost your income up where you no longer qualify for those credits. Right, right, right. So that's now going, you're going to say, oh, last year I got 5000 This year I got 1500 What changed? You got unemployment. <laughs> you know, and so Jeez. that's going to affect a lot of people because it's going to push tax brackets. Mm-hmm. It's going to eliminate credits that you normally get. So your situation is not going to look the same as it looked before. You know, and it's going to hurt a lot of people, you know, and the thing about it is even if you had taxes taken out, unemployment taxes are usually taken out at a 10 percent tax bracket. Mm. So that that's going to definitely help. Mm-hmm. But most people, the lowest tax bracket is 12 okay. percent. So you're still not having enough taxes taken out at the at the rate at you're going to probably be yeah. taxed. At. Yeah. Wow. So it's going to it's going to affect a lot of people and your taxes going to look a lot different. Mm. So as I stated to people, if you using your money or if you was dependent, Mm -hmm. if you was dependent on your your tax return, your stimulus check to buy your boot, a Valentine (laughs) gift, you might want to change that because it ain't going to look the same. Right. If your birthday present was contingent on your tax return, Mm. then y'all might want to reconsider some stuff because it ain't going to look the same. (laughs) Wow. All right. Well, let's not uh, end this on a a, a down note. We're going to end it on a, hopefully on a high note. How do you create the vacation lifestyle? Because I seen your your page (laughs) and I see a lot of palm trees. (laughs) <laughs> no, nah, I, I don't go that much. No, nah, I'm messing with you. <laughs> maybe, maybe a couple of times a yeah. month. That's all. Right, right, right. Not right. much. I don't do a lot of, you know what I mean? Yeah, not as much as I want to. Right, right. Saying. Not as much as I want to. <laughs> you know, that's, it's a depressing time when you know you got to come back. You, mm-hmm. I don't want people to have to deal with that. <laughs> right, the, be happy for five trip. days yeah. and then be sad again. That's too much That's just too much to put on you. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. too much. I feel you. Know, you. I feel you. Up and you. down on emotion. <laughs> you know? But but the thing about it is, is is. You know, one thing I tell people, you got to start early. That's why I'm with these millennials now. I'm pushing my millennials to understand how to start investing, start putting money aside, mm-hmm. start creating that I don't have to worry about old age money. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, mm-hmm. and so, but but again, even if you're not a millennial, the thing is you got to get a business. Mm-hmm. You got to get a business. And the reason why I say that is because that's the only thing, I can not say the only thing, but that's probably the, the, the one thing that, you know, the, the most prevalent thing that's they never going to change because mm-hmm. see, as your income start to grow, you start getting disallowed for a lot of mm-hmm. stuff that can help you because they say you make too much money. Gotcha. People who have businesses, there's no limits. And see, they, they won't ever change that. They'll only make it better because you got to understand probably 90 percent of the people who make the laws are probably business owners. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you got to get a business to learn how to keep. So they definitely your money. make sure that it's working in. Yeah. So yeah. when you have somebody. <laughs> making a uh, uh, taking 40 to 50 percent of your money so if you're w2'd and somebody's taking 40 to 50 percent of your money how can i really save if i'm only bringing home 50 percent of my yeah. money but i'm living a hundred percent of my life yeah mm-hmm. so i'm living a hundred percent lifestyle so i got to understand how to keep more of my money mm-hmm. so now you create the vacation lifestyle of saying now as opposed to them taking 80 percent i mean uh, 50 percent mm-hmm. what if they only took 20 percent gotcha i take that 30 percent as this disposable i either put it into retirement Mm -hmm. i put it into savings Mm -hmm. i put into a vacation fund yeah yeah so you learn how to keep more of your money so now if i got a little bit more money 
and I'm living the same lifestyle. See, mm-hmm. you can't you can't take now mm-hmm. and if you got the extra thirty percent, mm-hmm. I'm going to get a bigger house. <laughs> and that's what you yeah. people want to upgrade. Going to get, now. I'm going to upgrade yeah. my car. Mm-hmm. I know I just paid it off two months ago. <laughs> I want another. I want a, I want a seven hundred dollar car note. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, so now you get in those situations yeah. where now yeah. that money is no longer disposable. So now you basically Back probably saving one. more money, but in worse debt. <laughs> You know, and that's what happens a lot of times. And so we got to understand that. So with me, I understood, again, if I didn't give somebody 50 to 60 percent of my money from working a job, I can keep more of my money. Mm -hmm. If I can keep more of my money, I can invest more of my money. Gotcha. I can put away more of my money. I can use more of my money to travel. Mm -hmm. You know, so when I do those things, my credit is good. When my credit is good, people give me more favorable Mm -hmm. stuff. When I get more favorable stuff, I can get more points that I can use for hotel, for travel. Right, right. I can get, uh, you know, airline tickets Mm -hmm. through points. I can do all these things now to create a travel lifestyle. Okay. But we got to understand to play the game. Mm-hmm. Two games that we're not winning at. Taxes mm-hmm. and credit. Mm. You win those two games. Think about it. Anything that you have to do in life almost mm-hmm. to be progressive, yeah. one of those two things are involved. Uh, play a part, yeah. If you say, you know what, I, I want to buy a house. I mm-hmm. want to be a homeowner. <laughs> you probably got to have both of those things. Mm-hmm. I need to get a business loan so I can enhance my business. Yeah. I got to have either one of those two things. Mm-hmm. Student loan, yeah. I got to have one of those two things yeah. to get through college, whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. Anything that you need to do mm-hmm. in this system to be progressive, you need one of those two things. Yeah, yeah. So, God forbid, again, if I have both of those jacked up, <laughs> how can I be progressive in a system yeah. that's making me use things that I don't that have? That don't have, yeah. That's why we losing. Sheesh. We got to understand to play this game. If we learn to play this game, mm-hmm. man, you know, we going to win all day. Yeah. We can win all day. And it really ain't that hard. Mm-hmm. It ain't hard at all. And then you got to be intentional about really wanting to do it. There you go. Yeah. That's the thing is that I was intentional mm-hmm. about not working for nobody. Mm-hmm. I was intentional about traveling. Mm-hmm. I was intentional about those things. So you got to, and I tell like people see me on social media now, mm-hmm. you know, and I tell people that, you know, if you be thinking that I'm doing this now because you know, in the last couple of years, but I tell people I've been to all 50 states I've been to all ancient wonders of the world. Mm-hmm. I've been to all seven continents. Mm-hmm. You can't do that in the social media age. Mm, they're right. <laughs> you know, I've been doing this <laughs> in my early 20s. And so it's about positioning mm-hmm. and being intentional yeah. about doing it. Mm-hmm. And even if you're at a point where you don't want to do it now, you say, I'm too old to do it. I don't want to. Do it for your children. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't let your child go through the same things you went through. Yeah, yeah. You know, and we say that, oh, I don't want them to go through, I want, so we give them everything. We give them everything but positioning. We don't give them good credit. Yeah, yeah. We don't give them, you know, a pass down of, of legacy, of finances, or knowledge. Mm-hmm. Those what we need. To, those are things we need to do for, for our children. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, we don't need to leave them with no debt. You can't leave a child a job. <laughs> you know, yeah. so if that's all you think you're doing, basically I got, you know, I got mm-hmm. a good job. Mm-hmm. You know, no, yeah. you better get some life insurance. And yeah. that's another thing. We got to learn to play that game. Mm-hmm. And I got started on that late, but now I understand how so many people have been winning before us, understanding whole life. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't understand that how to leverage that. How now to create a retirement. Now, when you 20 years down the line, you're getting tax-free money. Mm-hmm. You're getting an extra 5000 a month tax-free wow. for doing nothing. Mm-hmm. You know, Or if, you, if you've if you then built over 20 years, you didn't built a half a million, a million dollars in a cash value policy. Mm-hmm. My child, grandchildren, they don't need student loans. Mm-hmm. So again, know who get hurt the most by student loans? People say, well, white folks got student loans. But white folks got resources mm-hmm. to not let student loan hamper them. Right. Yeah. To where now we getting student loans, but that people I know people got house notes for student loans. Mm-hmm. But even if your student loan is six hundred dollars a month, you don't think that's killing somebody? Heck yeah. That's killing them. Mm-hmm. But I just see it every day. Mm-hmm. Like people got student loans from they graduated thirty years ago. Wow. And they still playing. And I'm not knocking yeah, nobody, yeah, course, but I'm yeah. saying that's a hindrance mm-hmm. to my finances. Mm-hmm. If I'm paying student loans six hundred dollars a month, that's a vacation a month. Yeah, man. That's a vacation a month. <laughs> you know, yeah. Don't let my child go through that same yeah, thing. Don't let that. my child have to deal with student loans. Mm-hmm. Don't let my child have to find mm-hmm. money. 
mm-hmm. to go to school. To go to school, yeah. Don't let my child find money basically to start a business mm-hmm. when these other communities. What these other communities doing? Mm-hmm. Here, graduate, congratulate. Mm-hmm. Here's fifty thousand yeah. dollars. Start, you mm-hmm. know, get your business. We winning in 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 some cases, but if it's taking you five to ten years to get your business to a level where you're winning, mm-hmm. and somebody got the resources from day one, mm-hmm. you can't catch them with a five to ten year head start. No. So that's why other communities are winning because they're coming out of school mm-hmm. with a fifty thousand dollar advance, with a hundred thousand right. dollar yeah. advance from grandfather fund or, or mm-hmm. the mom or the daddy had a whole life shirt. A uh, life insurance policy that paid out or gave them fifty to start a business. Yeah, we don't have the same advantages. Yeah, this is why we have to change it. And so when everybody talk about you know their kids and they'll die for their kids and all that, I say first of all live for your kids. Mm-hmm. You know before you start talking about dying for dying your kids for them, yeah. and put them in position to yeah, win. I like that. You know that's a tweet in, right there. Yeah. Too. <laughs> <laughs> put them in position to mm-hmm. win. You know, and, and that's the one thing I want to do with my daughter. I say, if I ain't give my daughter nothing else, I'm going to give her some resources to win, some knowledge. Mm-hmm. We got to give generational knowledge. Yeah, true that. And I always say, basically, you can't show what you don't know. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times, as the parent, all you know is working. But you do know Brian is out here giving, giving this information. That, right. So if nothing else, tell your child, well, I need you to go meet Brian. Mm-hmm. I need you to listen to this video. Mm-hmm. I need you to do something. Yeah. That's the least you can do. That won't cost you nothing. Mm-hmm. You know, because a lot of times we get embarrassed because we don't know this stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm like, don't be embarrassed. Like, be embarrassed by saying your parent didn't tell you. You know, our mama didn't teach us this. Mm-hmm. Our parent. Be embarrassed by saying, well, I know my mama didn't teach me this, but I'd be damned if I'm not going to teach my child. Right. That's crazy to mm-hmm. me. That's crazy to me. That ain't an excuse no more. Yeah. That ain't an excuse no Absolutely. more. It's too much information out here. Mm-hmm. You know, through people that's giving it and through technology. Right. So when you start talking about create the travel lifestyle, that's how you do it. Understand how to play this credit game and this tax game. Yeah. And it'll free up so much time for you. It'll free up so much money for you. You know, but you got to be intentional about doing it. And so when we learn this business game, because see, nobody with me only working a job 11 months. Mm-hmm. Nobody ever monopolized my time. Right. So you can't do what I do if somebody's monopolizing your time Mm -hmm. and you're getting two weeks a year. Yeah. You know, some of my vacations are two weeks. (laughs) You know, so that's I'll see you in two weeks. (laughs) Yeah, you know, and so you can't do three, four trips a year. Yeah, no, you're right. You know, if you only got two weeks to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, and so that's the thing is that we got to understand you got to create freedom with Mm -hmm. your time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and so when you're not a slave to your job, then you can make those moves, Mm -hmm. you know? And so even if I ain't saying if you got a business and your business struggling a little bit and you get a part-time job or something, but you got to do something to get away from that mentality. Right. You know, you got to educate yourself because again, everything that you can do on a job now, you can do as a business Mm -hmm. owner. True that. If it's 401k you Mm -hmm. want to put into, if it's retirement, if it's life insurance, health Mm -hmm. insurance, whatever, Mm -hmm. you can do that as a self-employed person. You know, we just don't get in positions to know it. Right. You know, and so again, man, I'm I'm you know, I'm here for I wanna see people travel. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. You know, I love it. You know, I basically you ain't gonna never hear me say it's lonely at the top. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but 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 I I would love company. <laughs> you know, I would love company. Yeah. I you know, I know you. it's lonely at the bottom too. <laughs> so if I had a choice It's miserable at the bottom. <laughs> if I had a choice if I had a choice, I'm going up top. Absolutely. Yeah, and, but we, we have a choice. Yeah. We have a choice. There's some good information, man. Yeah. Real good stuff. Oh, man, um, I appreciate y'all for allowing me to spread it and having a platform, but not just using it basically to to really just talk gossip and nonsense, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you know, and and that's the beautiful thing. So I appreciate y'all really getting at least me in here to to, to talk some some pertinent information. Mm-hmm, absolutely, absolutely, Brian Jubert. Now, oh, is that French? Yes, that's French. So I'll, I'll get people to debate me on my last name, mm-hmm. like it's Jobert. <laughs> like well my daddy say Jubert so I say yeah, I'm saying what my daddy say you know so Jobert is not incorrect it's okay. the more French pronunciation gotcha. but my daddy say Jubert so I say hey, Jubert okay and there's actually a um uh a, a figure skater oh, by the girl. name of <laughs> don't, bring, don't, don't bring that up man people <laughs> google it sometimes they be like you're not that white gay figure <laughs> skater huh 
Like, I didn't nah, say that part. That's not I just me. said he was a figure skater. <laughs> but they got to emphasize <laughs> that. Right, 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 you're not right. that white gay figure skater, huh? Like, and I was like, I don't think that's him. That's you know what I'm saying? No, that's not me. <laughs> but he got skills, though. Yeah. You know what <laughs> <laughs> that boy good. You yeah. from, you're from Louisiana, right? Huh? you from Louisiana? Yes. Okay, all right. That, I get it now. It finally the came The last up. name. I get the, yeah, I get the last yeah, name. Yeah, that's, that's a long, you know, that goes, And you kept saying bounce back, too. I said, yeah, he from there. Yeah, normally it, it, it'll come out like, some people like, you don't have the accent no more. And I keep talking to be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I it's not sliding now. out, yeah. Yeah, I hear that New Orleans twang. I yeah. mispronounce some word. You be like, what was that you yeah. said? I said, nah, it was just that, that New Orleans twang. Just, you know, it's it's correct. It's just right, right, twang right. drew it off a little bit. That's funny. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming through. We appreciate you coming through and, um, you know, y'all make sure y'all check out. Oh, where can they find you? Oh, actually, you can find me on, and I'll probably change the handle, but right now it's Rich Boy on Instagram, R I C H B O I J U P 1. That's Rich Boy Jew, R I C H B O I J U P 1. So I'll be Kinda changing like one of the rappers out here. Dude. Yeah, I'll be changing. <laughs> but, but Rich Boy, actually, actually, what Rich Boy stands for is really interested in caring how businesses operate internally. I like that. Yeah. So R I C H B O I really uh yeah. really interested in caring how businesses operate internally. Okay. Because we gotta understand the internal part, we understand internal, which is the foundation. Mm-hmm, we mm-hmm. understand that in relationships, oh, your your foundation have to be good for the relationship to right, work. Right. You're building a house. You know, your your foundation mm-hmm. have to be good, right. you know, for the house to last. Same with business. Yeah. Your infrastructure, your internal part has to be solid yeah. in order your business to grow. You know, and so make sure y'all follow me every Tuesday. I do a live just talking business, answering questions you on know, Facebook, talking PPP, P, uh, Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Uh, Facebook is I don't have as much room, but Instagram is probably a better platform. OK. You know, so follow me on Instagram. Um, you can go to my website is LB tax dot com. You know, and you can get the information as far as the business write-offs. You can call my office, email us if you have questions. Mm-hmm. All that information is on the website, but lbtaxservice.com. And, you know, man, I love this. I love I love helping folks and, you know, getting people in position because I'm going to eat regardless. <laughs> I tell you, but I'm going to eat regardless. Right. I've eaten all my life, you know. Mm-hmm. And my thing is that it's enough food for everybody. Mm-hmm. Then I've changed my diet, so it's more food for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm on your IG. Y'all, y'all can catch them working out, too. On yeah, yeah. Page. You know, I'm about, to get, I'm about to get my stripper fine on. <laughs> so I definitely ain't about to eat as much, you know. So I, I probably did my last travel. Uh, I can say last travel, but really, like, frequent travel for probably to after tax season okay. so i'll be here i'll be grounded so it's plenty of food because i ain't eating as much like i said strip of mine coming and i might get out of tax business you know so i might do some str- not <laughs> another uh, conversation though but yeah right. just, uh, at least you won't be taxed though yeah yeah yeah, yeah you can be taxed lower here yeah. <laughs> so if y'all if y'all see me basically doing taxes in a wife beater you know i've arrived <laughs> I've reached my fitness goal. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, that's funny. But once again, man, I want to say thank you. Brian Jupert, make sure y'all, uh, Jubert, uh, make sure y'all uh, follow him on Instagram, Jubert. on Facebook. Yes, yes. And uh, use his services, man, because this man, and check out the lives because uh, he'll yeah. be dropping some knowledge, some nuggets, stuff that will work, will be uh, necessary in your business and even in your, just your personal finances. He, yeah. he know what he's talking about. And even if you don't use my service, bring it back to your tax person and let them know I said something. Tell them that, to look at that, you. That, yeah, they to do. <laughs> but I tell you, if you got to tell your tax person something I told you, you might just want to have a hmm moment. Right. Yeah. Hey, Brian he didn't, didn't say that. that before. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right, right, right. That's not what Brian said. That ain't what Brian said. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what's up. It's your boy G-Way holding down. G-Way Podcast kicking it alongside with my man Deacon. Dirty. Y'all already know what it is. The G Wade Podcast. The G Wade Podcast. Bringing you the cool interviews, the hot, hot topics, topics, and all that other crap. The, the G Wade Podcast, Podcast with, with Deacon, Deacon Dirty. Dirty.